Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. My name is DRL, and I'm going to show you how to get good cards inside of NBA 2K Mobile. The first and easiest way is to log in for seven days. If you're a new player, this will definitely help you out. Get a pro Victor Wembayama on your squad, which is really good to use in all the modes inside the game. The second option is to enter the free redeem codes that come out for the game. The latest code that you want to enter is in all capital letters, Mr. Triple Double. Now, I already redeemed this code, but you can see that it, it does exist, but it will expire very soon. So if you're watching this video at a later point and the code is expired, I'm sorry, but more than likely there could be a new code at the time. You could find those easily on NBA 2K Mobile Twitter or search it up on YouTube. You also want to make sure you click on the second tab, which is the daily login. So remember to log into the game every single day. After a certain amount of days, you could unlock a free player this way as well. Now, what I always recommend to new players is to wait until the end of the month to claim your players because as your power increases, you're going to be going through new tiers really fast. So your rewards will change as well. I'll give you a really good example. Season six did not start in the beginning of October. I did not claim anything at the beginning of the month, which is the end of season five. Went from being Chaos Diamond as the highest reward to now it being the first reward and me being able to get the new tiers right away. So I can get a Zircon, a Cobalt, and at the end of the month, I am going to get two Garnett players. So that is the trick for the daily login. Something I always recommend to new players and even veterans as well. Next thing you want to do is grind the stat line. This is the way that you get coins inside the game. Between grinding the stat line, you can have the event exclusive objectives, daily objectives, weekly and monthly. And you also can get coins available through the court side pass. And if you do buy the premium pass, which I do think has a lot of value, the same amount that you will spend, you get back in coins. Plus you get all these other rewards on the bottom, which includes draft picks, packs, guaranteed players, right? You see a Topaz, Dwight Howard, Kawhi Leonard. These are all really good to start. Event energy. These packs right here do give you a chance to get up to an Amber card. And you keep scrolling. You got a Jay Lamella ball, which is one of the best point guards in the game. A Tyler Hero, Russell Westbrook, which is incredible as well. And at the end, you do get a Chaos Diamond courtside pass player. Next month, more than likely, will be either a Zircon, Cobalt, or Garnett player. I'm not entirely sure yet. But either way, starting a game with a card like this will allow you to go through tourneys really fast and will be a really good way to get more players on your squad. Because if you look at tourneys, right now the highest is Garnett, which I'm pretty much almost done with. But if you look at all the other ones, it starts with Topaz. So upon completing each round, you get a Topaz card. Guaranteed upon the first completion, you get the Jade cards, you got Pearl, Obsidian, basically every tier that's available in the game, there's a tourney for, and each tourney also has exclusive challenges, which is very helpful if you want to be grinding. For example, this tourney right here, if I get a dunk with a Detroit Piston player, I will get a collectible, which will be season five collectibles, all very good that can help you craft players, which I will get into next. So if I wanted to go about that challenge, I just would swap out my Kobe Bryant and I will use this Jade and Ivy that I just got from Garnett Tourneys. Now I am officially in the highest tier, which is Garnett. So that's why I have those tourneys a lot. And in order to see your reward tier, you just tap on that tab and you can see exactly what it is. We're pushing 300K power pretty soon. So I'm pretty excited about that as well. So the reason why getting these collectibles is important it's because it allows you to craft event players and foundation players as well. So if you go into the catalog inside the game, any player that has a hammer underneath their name is a player you can craft. This is the fastest way to get really good players on your team. Crafting and playing the events. It's the best way because usually the theme cards, their power is a lot higher than the cards you will get from tourneys, which is the same cards that you will also get from the packs and head to head, which is a really good way to get cards as well. But I'll give you an example. I have this Kevin Durant, 298,000 power. We're going to go to Garnett because he also has a foundation Garnett card. Same player. Foundation is 253,000 power. So you see there's, a, there's more than a 40,000 power difference. So that's why it's always better to use a theme version of the player. And as you're watching a video, I will throw screenshots up so you can see exactly what I'm talking about, the type of rewards you can get. For example, for drills... It's really easy. Just complete the little mini games. Uh, the first one was dunk practice. That's a lot of fun. Shooting practice is a lot of fun. And upon completing this, upon completing four drills, you do get a pack, which will give you some really good cards as well. I recently got a Chaos Diamond from a drill pack. 
head to head it's also really good this is where you compete against other players online you can use either your best team or you can use your favorite players that you're most comfortable playing with as far as head to head though it's a little bit different attorneys is an easier mode to grind as long as your power is higher than the cpu you should be able to advance through the turns with no issue. It's ahead, you really get to test your skill against other players online. And upon completing those matches, you do get packs, right? There's different packs that you can unlock. You have uh, silver packs, gold packs, and then the super packs. Now with head to head, there are definitely meta players that you want to be using. So like for point guard, you want to have a very good point guard that can hit threes. Like Damian Lillard, Stephen Curry, Trey Young, LaMelo Ball. I mean, there's many others, but those are like four of the favorites that I like to use. Shooting guard, you want to have a guard that can hit mid-ranges, catch and shoot threes, can drive to the rim and get dunks. For shooting guard, there's a lot of good ones too. You got Kobe, you got Jordan, Tracy McGrady, Dwayne Wade, Blake Thompson, just to name the ones that I like. A small forward, you need a good three-point shooter, good playmaker. Like, this is a very important position. Somebody could rebound a little bit as well. So somebody like Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Larry Bird. Scotty Pippen, Kawhi Leonard, Jason Tatum. Like, those are all really good small forwards to use in head to head. For power forward, you need somebody dominant who can crash the paint and get rebounds, can hit a mid range shot. So, players like Willis Reed, Giannis, Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan, Carl Malone, Dirk Nowitzki, Antoine Jameson, Anthony Davis are all really good options for head to head. I'm learning how to use Elvin Hayes. I unlocked him from the event. So he could potentially be somebody as well because he does have a four in mid-range and I'd want to build him out to make him a good pick and roll player as well. And if a center, you need a dominant big. And there's two styles of centers in this game. You have the dominant paint beast, Will Chamberlain, Shaquille O'Neal, Bill Russell. Then you got your centers that can hit mid-ranges like Patrick Ewing, Yao Ming, Alonzo Mourning, August Saul, David Robinson. And then you got your centers who are out in the wing like Nikola Jokic, Joel B, Carl Anthony Towns. Al Hawford. So there's a lot of good choices for the center position. But head to head really, again, is a based on skill, play style, and the players you feel more comfortable using. So that's the idea with head to head. And then back to tourneys, you want to use your, your most powerful players. That way you have the advantage over the computer. So right now, this team here is 335K. And I'll quickly point this out. So you see my team power. This team I'm using here is 290K. These are not my most powerful players. But this is my best combination of players, and I'll explain to you why. When you're looking at your cards and you're building out your team, you have to pay attention to the abilities as well. So Kobe Bryant has a dual bonus with Shaquille O'Neal. So that's why I'm using both of them together, because that bonus there gives both of them 20% boost to their power. Kevin Durant is my strongest player, so he has the prime player ability. That gives him 25% boost. Elvin Hayes has clutch time, so he gets a 50% boost on Sundays. So that's why he's in my lineup. And then Stephen Curry, he's a point guard I like to use. He bails me out when I'm in trouble and I need threes. Very reliable, good playmaker as well. I mean, Stephen Curry, right? What more could I say? So the last method in order to get the best players in the game, and honestly, this is the best method, is to grind the events. Every week there is an event, and every week there's a mini event. So Monday through Wednesday is a mini event. That allows you to get foundation cards and collectibles that you can use to craft the players for the main event. Very important that you grind that, especially because when you do get those foundation cards, you will use those to upgrade your theme cards. So it's very important that you grind that. And again, the collectibles that you get will allow you to craft those players. Currently right now, if you wanted to craft players and you're new starting, Robert Ori is only one collectible. If you want a good point guard to start the game, John Stockton is a good point guard to start with. He's only one collectible. And if you want a top tier power forward, Dirk Nowitzki is only three. And if you want an elite point guard, Russell Westbrook is only six. So if you grind a mini event this week and next week and a little bit of the event, you could craft Russell Westbrook and the Cosmic Jasper with 171K power, which is really helpful. Now there are different events in the game, right? You got overtime, Soon there'll be Domination, you got Gauntlet, 3v3 Gauntlet, Fantasy Finals, King of the Court, and Power Cap. So there's a lot of events in the game, and hopefully there'll be more soon too, because the events play a big part in grinding NBA 2K Mobile. And I do have a dedicated guide for Overtime, which I released yesterday. It appears to be helping a lot of people, but I will tell you the events are harder than playing tourneys and head-to-head. -to -head. 
right? The skill level is higher. So it's very important to make smart plays. You can't be shooting three-pointers with somebody defending you. You can't shoot long-range threes. And to be honest with you, three-pointers can be a main part of your game. You have to be able to run pick and rolls. You got to be able to drive to the rim. You got to pass on and find an open shooter. You have to use a shot clock officially. All very important tips when considering some of the events in the game. Again, I got a guide up for overtime yesterday if you want more deep dive. By grinding events, you get some of the best cards in the game. And I'll show you. Take a look. All the cards I've gotten is a combination of cards that I got from events. I do open up packs. So some of these cards that I did pull. You know, players that I got from the courtside pass. I mean, there's so many options to get good cards in this game. And we can go through the rest of my collection, but it's going to be majority reward players. Now, one thing they added for Season 6 is the ability to get rewards from crews. Right now, the crew challenge is win 100 2-on-2 two -two matches with your crew. And you can get a random collectible for my team mode. So that's a new addition that's pretty cool. So one thing I do want to point out is if you complete a tourney, you can go back and simulate it, which means you don't have to play the games, pump ups, rings for this tier or another player. So this is a good way to get cards, especially when you finish all the tourneys. You just make sure every day, whenever your energy refills, you simulate the tourneys and get pulls. So that is how you get good players inside of NBA 2K Mobile. And those are my tips on how to become good at the game. I hope this was a helpful guide. Let me know in the comment section what tip stood out to you the most and what you plan to grind going forward. So as always, I appreciate it. I'll catch everybody in the next video. Peace out.